Medina. He keeps the best company. And then Allah transforms him and makes him the jewel in the crown of Islamic scholarship. That's really important. So this is what we believe. This is our doctrine. And this is really important doctrine. And also for this reason, for you, one of the most important things is how do you acquire your act? That's what you've got to be about. You've got to acquire it with courtesy. You have to acquire it with thanksgiving. You have to acquire it, you know, in the best possible way. Take it from your Lord. And again, ya ayyuhal abdul da'if al muthnib, I am weak. I am a servant of God, but I am weak and I am wrongful. And so therefore, everything you give me, Allah, it's from you. It's not from me. And if it's beautiful, I just thank you. Because I don't have the power to do that. Not at all. If you want to erase it, it's gone. And I know that from experience. I know that, as many of you know that from experience as well. You know, I have no power over anything. So he gives you that and you look at the wonder of what he created in you. And you marvel at that and you thank him and you love him and you turn to him. And the more perfectly you acquire your act, the more amazing it is. Because you have the attributes of lordship. We call them that. The attributes of lordship are the seven attributes that we're going to study in a moment. You have life. You have knowledge, you have will, you have power, you have hearing, you have seeing, you have speech. These are the attributes of lordship. It's of God, these are necessary, uncreated, perfect attributes. In the case of you and me, they are created, they are temporal, they are rooted in non-existence, they are deficient. They're naqisa. But they are perfect asbab. They are perfect means or links. And they are perfect alat. They are perfect mechanisms to acquire action. In every action, the uncreated knowledge, uncreated will, uncreated power comes together in synergy with your created knowledge, your created will, your created power. And this is the human act. And it is a wondrous thing. And it is yours. And you will be rewarded for it, or punished, or forgiven. Okay, and this is the ostrich egg. Al-Baydu al maknun This is the secret of the amana. You know, of the trust of the heavens and the earth. And for this reason... The more perfectly that we acquire our acts as servants of God, may Allah make that possible. You know that like I know I am weak. I know that I am incapable. I know that I am the leal. I am insignificant. I know this about myself. And I know that I'm jahul. I'm ignorant how much I don't know. And so whatever Allah does for me, And for you, mashallah, I can't believe it. You've done this. You've given me this gift. I don't deserve this gift. Then the reality of the act kicks in. That this act that you do, whatever it is, this is from the infinite knowledge of God. This is from the perfect will of God who chose it on the basis of wisdom between infinite other possibilities and this is by the power of God and the wisdom of God so now your act takes on a dimension which is almost divine like the act of the saint whereas if I acquire my act from my will my power my knowledge it's like I pollute it it's not really worth very much may Allah give us the power to act from the heart بإذن الله تعالى Okay, so now what we want to do is to begin the positive attributes. And uh, he says here in verse 8, وَقُدْرَةٌ إِرَادَةٌ ثُمَّ الْحَيَاةِ وَالْعِلْمُ وَالْدَلِيلُ خَلْقُ الْكَائِنَاتِ He says, seven, power, 
8. Will. Furthermore, 9. Life. And 10. Knowledge. Proof of these attributes is the creation of existent things. So here he will take the positive attributes, which we also call the substantives, the ma'ani. They're called the ma'ani because they posit substantive things about God, you know, that are not his essence, but are not different from his essence. They're not independent of his essence, but they are substantive substantive attributes that God has. We call them ma'ani. And we call them sifatun wujudiyya. We call them also existential attributes. And we call them positive attributes. <laughs>